All right. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Paul Salicot, and uh, I'm a co founder of Tensac, a startup company based in New York. So, today I'm going to introduce to you the integrated sensor data management system that we develop at Sensac. The ISDMS is essentially hardware and software framework that streamlines the process of sensing a variable, annotating the values with metadata, shepherding the result into a data management system where it is made available to the end users. So the idea is to address the growing demand for cross-disciplinary data integration and interoperability which our system tries to address both at the hardware and software level. Um, our hardware platform, uh, we call it a transcoder rather than a decaloger because of its advanced capabilities. Uh, first of all, it is able to capture its deployment context metadata and it can store them on board with also uh, control vocabularies. It is designed to serve sensor data and associated metadata uh, in a network, to be a local network or over the internet. And contrary to a data logger that you tell about the sensor that, is, that are attached when you program it, the, it works the other way around for our transcoder where the transcoder reports on the sensors attached to it um, to the application that is used to prepare it for deployment. And because it's a new concept, uh, we have developed a virtual version of, of the hardware so that users can uh, try the whole process of configuring and programming the transcoder for deployment. The, uh, we've developed a software tool named TCAS, which stands for Transcoder Configuration and Auto Programming Software Tool that is used to prepare the, the device for deployment. Uh, it is designed to facilitate the provision of metadata to, to the device and also its auto programming. Basically, TCAS eliminates the need for computer programming skills. And uh, it also integrates uh, control vocabularies developed mainly by the Kwasi group. And uh, the metadata are encoded in standardized formats like the IEEE 141451 and whatever. And we also have a sensor information system. Uh, behind the TCAS application. So these are some GUIs, uh, graphical user interfaces, when you, you try uh, to use uh, TCAS. And they are also available in the virtual transcodex. So once the device is deployed, what happened? Uh, the device is deployed with uh, knowledge of an API that we've developed, and uh, it submits both the captured data and metadata to our API. And when the data and metadata reach our API, uh, they are organized in a, an extended version of the QRC observations data model. And uh, once the data is uh, in our uh, database or in the user database, what happened? The user can use or the owner can use our tool named Transconnect, which is uh, to create networks of transcoders. It could be, it, uh, it's basically virtual networks. And also the user can specify data sharing options. Uh, if you look at the first screen, uh, we, we create a, uh, a web service endpoint for the user and also the user can specify information like citation, and also we also cap we, we capture some other metadata for that describe the, the network created. And uh, for the data sharing options, we provide a high level of granularity in terms of what you can share. Uh, if you look at the white screen, you can, you can see that you can share one variable on the site, but you can also share the whole site or the whole network that, you, that you've created. And more interestingly, Google, uh, Google revealed his, uh, its tool named Dataset Search. So we've realized that with the metadata that we capture uh, in our system, we can uh, automatically register the user's dataset to, uh, to Google Dataset Search. And uh, once you make your data available in uh, Transconnect, it is available to our tool named Data Vault. 
that is used to access both public and private data uh, that are annotated with metadata. And we again use the QASI control vocabulary set and uh, we also encode the data in whatever format among other formats. And uh, we've also developed the data, data analytics tool, which is a suite of tools for data analysis and visualization. And uh, it also provides you with, uh, a, with some sort of diagnosis about the health of your transcoders that have been deployed. And uh, we've worked with some technology partners, business partners, and at this point we are doing our alpha testing. And uh, we will exhibit at the American Geophysical Union conference. So if you, if anyone, one of you will be there, so you can, you, you can visit our booth. It's, uh, nine, it's number 957. Okay, that's, that's where my presentation ends. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay.